We are uh, redoing this whole backyard. We got a couple of retaining walls that are falling down, old concrete pads that are falling apart. We're gonna pour new concrete patios and restore this yard for the family and have a new space for them to hang out with the kids. The challenge on this project is we got a lot of stuff going on, walls, concrete. We're gonna come in and we're really gonna demolish everything. We're gonna rip the walls down. We're gonna jackhammer the concrete up haul everything away and give us a new clean slate. The Sandy Excavator is gonna be great on this project because I can use it in so many different ways from tear out to digging the footers to moving material around. It's kind of fun, the homeowners kind of think you're crazy when you start because stuff's a mess, but I really just wanna bring this backyard back to life. And then we'll tear all this pad out. We're tearing that out, putting a wall all the way down. 90 to here, around the patio, yep. The Sandy is awesome. The breakout power of it is great and picking up some pieces that are bigger than the machine. I really wasn't expecting that there would be this much material being hauled out. I was thinking a few loads down here and a few loads up there. Still got my dad on with me. He was the first guy I had. It's, I think it's cool to keep him around with me and keep him in the dump truck. Without him, it would be tough to get some stuff done. So we're going to start tearing down this upper wall here. This is a railroad tie wall. A lot of people build them because they're cheap and easy to build. But the unfortunate part is they fall apart very quickly. Most people just build them with no drainage. The railroad ties are completely rotted in half. We wrapped up on Friday by cleaning everything up, all the old concrete, the walls. Now we're gonna start digging footers with the sandy and the two foot bucket. Attack it. We got our wall laid out here. We got it sprayed on the ground with the measurements that we want. We got our zip level that we're gonna use to set the grade. Make sure our block is in the footer. We're gonna put the two foot bucket on so we have some space between the block because the block's one foot. So we can really lock it in there and it is very stable. Clicks right in place and you're ready to go. And if I set this down, it says I'm one foot two inches. So I did a pretty good job. It's really nice in spots like this where it's super tight, where the arm articulates so I can kind of move around and then take the blade and push the dirt out of the way. It's super smooth, so it's really easy to get precise in the machine and it makes our job a lot easier. And then we found their sewer pipe. So luckily I was being real gentle and you can kind of really feel everything in the sandy. And I felt something and kind of scratched it off. And it's better to be lucky sometimes than skilled, so we'll take it. Any day you can save a pipe is a good day. We're using the compactor to pack it in, compact it in lifts and uh, we'll get it up to the grade that we want and then we'll start laying the block on, once we get it up there. The compaction is super important, so we don't want to skip this step. Today will be a tough day. It's going to be really hot. Hopefully we get about 200 blocks moved, so it should be fun, but not for everybody. We'll be using the sandy with a clamp I just got. Um, it picks up two blocks so we can set it right on the wall. It really relieves a lot of the manual labor. They're 80 pounds a piece, so picking them up all day isn't really the funnest job to do. You can actually grab four blocks, but it's easier to set two of them like this because you can stack them straight on the wall and it makes the job so much easier and quicker. Efren's my hardscapes guy. He gets all the block laid and makes sure everything's straight, level, and ready to stack from the bottom up. So this part is very crucial. What I'm doing here is just making sure that the block is set at level. We use the string line just to make sure that the wall is straight. It's concrete day, day number four. We got all the walls built and we're pouring the concrete. This is probably my favorite part, but most nerve wracking. We got about three hours to get this from start to finish, and uh, here we go. So you gotta be quick but precise because once the concrete truck gets here, I mean in three hours the concrete's almost hard enough for you to walk on. It is very crucial to like not miss any marks and have it done before three hours or you're tearing it out and redoing it. Oh, 
Hold on. Get it, get it there. Concrete's one of those things that it's a time limit. You got to move quick. Everybody's got to be on the same page. We have a pretty good team here. Everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody's got their role and they all do it very well. For the Sani, it's Chinese made right and everybody is always worried that they, they want the name brands. Since I've owned this, a couple of my buddies have CAD and Bobcat excavators and I ran theirs and honestly, I don't see no reason why the Sani doesn't match to their performance. It's just so smooth and the breakout force is great for the size of machine it is. It works in all situations for what we do. I'm having Newman Tractor is super cool. It's it's close by home and they have so many different locations they can pull different stuff that we need. The warranty is only as good as the supplier. So with Newman Tractor, I trust them. I've had my company now for three years and to see what we've been able to accomplish in three years now is super awesome. And I really makes me look forward to the future to see what projects we'll be able to tackle in the next three, four, five years. It's, it's really cool to see. I'm happy with the way this turned out and I can't wait to do another one. Somebody can load the dump truck with the skid steer and yeah, you can, yeah, you can come in with the drone like we're actually doing something. <laughs> they act like I don't do nothing around here. They're not like poisonous wild berries. I think that those are grapes. Are you sure you can eat them? Mm -hmm. If you're still alive, I'll eat them on Monday. <laughs>